Hello and welcome back to another episode of Waffle and Christ Show. I'm your host, Dami, and today, so today we're going to talk about something that I was recently reminded of, and is that despite the statistics, despite the different polls, financial polls that you may see on social media, that has never point out, that's not often mentioned of, is that no two people are starting from the same place. Like, none of us are starting from the same place financially. That's why it's even more important for people like me who are talking about trying to encourage and show people how to become financial free just to be mindful that we all people are all starting from different places some people are starting from making seventeen thousand hours some people are starting from eight thousand hours some people are starting from forty five dollars per hour but one thing we can all i can say no matter where you're starting from the principles to build and wealth still remains the same you know it may just be a little bit more difficult depending on where you are you know in your financial journey or where you're starting from in your financial journey and I say that to say that, you know, if you're following the principles, the financial principles that you're learning on these different platforms, whether it's Wealth in Christ or any other platform, you know, you should be able to continue to grow and increase your wealth. You know, if you're able to manage $100, you can manage $200. If you're able to manage $200, you can manage $300. If you're able to manage $300, you can manage $400, $500. $500, can, you can manage $1,000. Thousand dollars you can manage two thousand, two thousand you can manage ten thousand, ten thousand you can manage a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand dollars you can manage a million dollars. But it's all about being principled. No matter where you where you go to learn about wealth, you realize the principles still stay the same. It's all about saving and investing. It's all about being disciplined, being consistent in how you're saving and investing. It's all about having um, abundant mindset. You know, realizing that there's more. To what you're seeing you know there's more to what you may understand at times and you know where you are today does not have to be where you end your life at you know there's still opportunity for you to grow you know and become financial free in your own right in your own way and yeah just in point you know you know I feel like it was just important for me to tell you guys and I want to remind you guys that you know we want to you want to be mindful that you don't compare yourself to someone else. You can be inspired by someone else's financial journey, but don't compare yourself. Don't compare your financial journey to someone else because you don't know where they probably started from. You don't know the different opportunities that they may be presented to presented um, that you may not have received yet or you may never receive. So it's important to understand that this journey, financial fear, is individual, but yet we're all running similar races. You know, the principles still, still remain the same no matter where you're starting from. And in addition to not comparing yourself, you don't want to compare yourself because you're not getting the full story and you don't want to have false hope. You know, too many people have false hope of what it looks like to be financially free. And financial free is going to look different based on how much money you have access to, based on how well your business is doing, based on how much you're saving. You know, you may not be able to save five hundred dollars as most of these posts, or a thousand dollars, but you may be able to save fifty dollars, two hundred dollars, a hundred dollars. So your output will look different from someone else's output. You know, two hundred dollars, ten percent on two hundred dollars is twenty dollars, but um, ten percent on one thousand dollars is a hundred dollars. Same math, same math, same equation, but different outputs. So this is why you can't compare. But you know embrace your journey you know be grateful you know for where god has um placed you and you know just continue to believe that it can get better yeah you know this is not the end for you you know the future is still bright and it just leads on to and you know the other thing i was the other thing i was recently reminded of um this week is that even though we all are starting from different places um, even though we all are not starting this with the same amount of money, you know, it's still possible to be good stewards of our finance. It's still possible for us to reach financial freedom, to become financial free. And it will look different for all of us. But that shouldn't discourage you. That shouldn't be... Um, hold you back from wanting to pursue this dream of becoming financial free. You know, it should you know, it should inspire you. 
you know, it should inspire you that it's possible to do it. You know, you should look at other people's success, especially when it comes to financial, as motivation for you to keep going. As long as you keep going, as long as you continue to invest, as long as you continue to increase your income, as long as you continue to remain a student, that you can one day you can become financially free. You know, you should use other people's stories, you know, to learn from them so you don't make the same mistake in your own journey. And this all this conversation about um that none of us starts from the same place financially, but we all run a similar race in terms of wanting to become financial free reminds me of the story of the parable of talents. And we can find that in Matthew twenty five, fourteen to thirty. And I read, For it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servant and entrusted them his property. To one he gave five talent, and to another, to another two, to another one, to each, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who received five talent went at once and traded them, and he made five more talent. So he, so, and also he who had the two talent made two talents more, but he who had received one talent went and dug. In a growl and hid his master money. As we can just as we see reading the first few scriptures, verses, we'll see that it's two different mindset we present to here. There's one where, you know, where it's appreciative and see that, you know, there's there's more you can do with this money. They're appreciative of what they have and they, they use. They're becoming being coming. They are being good stewards of the finance that has, was placed, you know, in their hands and their possession and they went out to go and double it they went out to increase you know what they have received from their master and the same hand we see one who is not appreciated of the talent of the money that he is given and he went to go and hide it underground he didn't see no value and wanted to go out and do the same as the other two in terms of increasing the money provide you know uh making more money with his master money he didn't see no value in doing that so so you see two different persons here we see a person who is being a good steward of their finance and is going out to make more of what they have. And we see another person who is ungrateful, who just like, no, and wants to go on high because of fear. The limit, their, their mindset, their belief is limited. And that's why they don't see the reason why they should go out and make more of what they have. And it continues to read. Now, now, after a long time, the master of those servants came back and set an account with them. And he who has received five talents came forward and bring in five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five. Here I have made five talents more. And his master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been, trust, you have been faithful over little, and I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also who had two talents came forward, saying, Master, you delivered me to two talent. Here I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful of little, and I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. As you can see, both the both people, both servants, the one that had five talents and went to double it to make ten, and the one that had two talents and went to double it and make four, they both got the same reward. They were both greeting the same way. They were both appreciative in the same way by their masters. But now let's look at what happened or how the master spoke to the one who went to go and bury his. And it reads from verse 24, he also had received one talent came for it, saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping what you did not sow and gathering what you did not scatter no seed. So I was afraid and I went to hid your talent in the ground and here's what is yours. But his, answer, his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gather where I have scattered no seeds. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I shall receive what was what was mine with, with I should have received what was mine own with interest. So you can see here that the master was not was not happy. In regards to what that servant did, the one that had one did with the money. He didn't do anything. He didn't see any value in bringing more value for his master. He didn't see more um, any 
value in going out there, even just put it in the bank account where, you know, he wouldn't have to do anything, but interest would just come across. So that's a similar to just putting your money in a high yield saving account, and that way you will gain some type of interest off the money you have in your account. And you can see, apply this in today's world, you know, for some of us, we may be given five times, you know, maybe starting from the top, you know, top 10%, top 1%. You know, for some of us, maybe start in middle class. And for some of us, we may start at the bottom class. But the point of this story is to show you that no matter where you start from, it's still possible to make something out of what you have. It's still possible for you to reach financial freedom. It may not be um, the same journey, but you can still get the same result in terms of you can double what you have. You can increase what you have. And that's what the one servant failed to realize. He failed to realize that he could go from one to two and two to four and five to ten. You know, his mindset was very limited. And it's important, even though none of us are starting from the, any, uh, the same situation financially, we're all running similar races. We're all facing similar um, challenges. But as long as we stay consistent, as long as we stay um, disciplined, we can reach and you can become financially free. As always, I hope this encourages you guys. I hope this... But as always, I want you guys to stay blessed. You know, I hope this episode, you know, help you guys put in perspective, you know, this journey of financial freedom and encourage you to keep on going. I look forward to seeing you guys I look forward to seeing you guys next week and stay blessed. Peace out.